Hi. Um, hopefully some of you guys are about to. Today I am going to do a really quick healing, um, divine healing service for energy. Um, you guys might have noticed I haven't been around since Christmas, so hi, I'm sorry. Um, I might have to change the day that I do it on because I've had a lot come up on Fridays for the last few weeks with things with the kids or appointments, that type of thing. Um, so um, what I'd really like to do is something that I feel that I would benefit from if I was you, so that's why I'm doing it, is a um, healing um, service meditation. Hi. Um, hi, Neil, for, um, for energy. So I'm literally just going to um, talk you through um, visualisation as I'm doing it. Um, just sit in, join in. Um, please pop um, names of anyone else who you'd like um, to receive some healing as part of this. Please pop, feel free to pop their names into the comments. Um, and um, even if you do this on catch up, because as we know, energy knows no time or space. So this healing will go to them as and when it needs to. Um, and if this is something that you enjoy, especially as we're kind of coming out of that winter season, we need to sort of get our energy going. Um, feel free to, to save this, um, etc. Um, because you're going to find that it might come in useful in future. So um, I want to keep this quite short. So it's something that you can do on a regular basis is the idea behind it. Um, hi, Valerie, of course. Um, OK, so just allow yourself um, to be settled. Um, close your eyes. So if you pop any comments on, I'm not going to see for now. So please feel free to pop your comments on, even if. Um, hi, Jay. Even if I'm, um, even if I've got my eyes closed. So I just want you to feel your centre, to feel your root, and to feel the base of your feet. Look at your toes. Remember that you're connected into the planet. Remember that you're connected onto every living thing within that planet. Other humans animals of which humans absolutely form part of that group plants and trees and just focus on your breathing for a moment and as you do just remember that symbiotic relationship that you have with trees that as they breathe out their toxins which are carbon dioxide um, oxygen we breathe that in as we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide which are our toxins they breathe it in how we're both able to transmute for each other and how we are both here to help each other and serve each other and as we remember our connection to the earth and our symbiotic relationship with the trees i want you to think about trees that you've walked past recently where the buds may be starting, leaves may be coming out. They might be in full on bloom. There's some beautiful white um, flowers on some trees near me. I'm just thinking about them now. They're wonderful. They always make me happy when I walk beneath them. Just thinking about how the earth is coming to life and that you, as a member of this planet, are really gonna start to feel that energy, start to feel energized start to feel like you want to do things and you're going to notice that through extra energy through noticing synchronicities which may come up in your life for reaching out and time for action maybe even feeling annoyed or frustrated that you're still in some of your winter habits and just remembering your connection to the planet And I want you to think about source energy coming directly from the sun. You might want to put your hands up. But source energy coming directly from the sun. The sun being our access to source within this solar system. And that source energy, that bright, vibrant energy, that energy which created the universe. The energy of which we are made. Those building blocks. 
just remembering that heat, that warmth, and just drawing that energy in and feeling it shine on your whole self, and especially on your solar plexus, just below your rib cage, center of personal empowerment, a center of joy, energy, and confidence, our own personal sun energy that balanced masculine energy being drawn into us, that balanced masculine energy, which is action and energy and vibrancy. That maiden energy of spring, the planning and the awe and the wonder feeling and absorbing into your solar plexus and then keep on absorbing it into your solar plexus keep filling it and filling it and from there notice how your solar plexus might change color might feel fuller might push out anything that you no longer need and just notice how just like the sun's rays the solar plexus sends rays around your body and at the same time, we're absorbing all of that sun energy and all of that maiden spring energy into every single cell on your body. Just thinking about your skin cells from top to toe. All the cells within your muscles realigning and vibrating where they should do. Again, all the way from the top of your head, down your arms, down your body and down your legs. And thinking about all of your organs, your mind, your voice box, your heart and lungs, your liver, your spleen, your pancreas, all of your intestines, your reproductive organs, your kidneys, and all of the glands within your body as well. Your reproductive glands, your adrenals, your thyroids, your pineal, your pituitary, and your mind, the thyroid in your chest. They're all absorbing all of this energy too, vibrating at exactly the right frequency that they were designed to. And with that, you might feel a release from the outside of your aura as you notice them all vibrating. There might be some particular areas of your body which you have issues with pain or illness or imbalance of any sort. Just allowing the energy to flow to those spots in particular. Just focusing on those and your whole body absorbing that sun and that spring energy. And you can sit like this for as long as you need to absorb in that energy. And as you do, I want you to be aware of your aura. Be aware of three or four orbs, part of your energy system and the bubble of your aura. Those are switched on and looking for positivity, switched on and looking for your soul tribe. Switched on and looking to connect into the right like-minded souls. So you feel those good vibes when you're around the right people, the right animals and the right trees and plants. And just noticing and allowing anything from your aura to be washed away by a gentle spring rain that no longer serves you. Any threads of yours, any of your energy which is out with other people that doesn't need to be there or you don't want to be there, calling that back in, returning your energy to a whole and just allowing that rain to just gently wash it away. The sunshine and the rain bringing about a rainbow above you. Absorbing that sun 
and that gentle rain wash everything away knowing that the earth just like the trees transmutes what it needs to as the rain trickles away down into the grass cleansing your aura making it feel shiny and positive and empowered and strong and confident and full of energy and full of sunshine nobody's going to burst this bubble nobody's going to burst this energy this is mine you can all be as grumpy as you want because this is mine and this is my space and i maintain this vibe within my own energy drawing all of that energy in And you can sit here for as long as you want, but whenever you're ready, comb through your aura, brushing it off and sending it to earth. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes, remember your connection to the planet, remember that energy, that joy, that positivity, and go about kicking ass all day long. We'll love you and leave you guys. Bye-bye.